cell phone? Yeah, but I'm not going to be giving that out readily just yet. <laughs> you got you got to pace yourself on that one. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can reach you. No worries. So um, yeah, it's it's usually nothing urgent. So good news. So it is my job to help TPW to get you all what you need, so um, you don't have fifty people coming to you. I can tell you or put it in the chat. Which would you like? Um, you can put it, whatever you want to do here. Okay. Yeah, just put it, put it in the chat, and I'll cut and paste it later. Yes. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. All right, we've started recording, so we'll get started with our presentation this evening for the Haltom Road uh, pro uh, project here at about six oh five. We'll give everyone a few more minutes to join on, and we'll get started here shortly. All right, welcome everyone to our presentation. It's about 6.05, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, just a few housekeeping things. Uh, we'll uh, keep everyone muted um, and go through the presentation and then we'll have time for questions uh, at the end. And you can post those questions in the chat button, which can be found in the WebEx control panel in the bottom right, we've highlighted it here. Um, or we can go around and unmute if anyone has any questions, you can ask them then. Um, the presentation this evening is being recorded and will be put on the project's uh, city web website uh, after that, after the meeting this evening. And 
<clears throat> can be a link to that can be shared as well. So we'll go ahead and get started this evening talking about um, Haltom Road, part of our hazardous roadway overtopping mitigation, or HROM as we like to say, um, program. And that includes some water and sewer infrastructure improvements, but most notably the paving and, of course, uh, improving the drainage at this location. Myself, uh, Mike Crenshaw, I'm the project manager. I also have online this evening is uh, Jane Widmer as the assistant project manager. And so we'll start this evening. We're talking about Haltom Road. We're just south of 121. Um, this is a um, area where uh, a local creek dry branch actually crosses this location before it gets to the West Fork of the Trinity River. Um, there have been uh, numerous re incidences reported of overtopping and vehicles stranded at this location. Um, the uh, location I'm showing here, you can see there is uh, the project limits are being shown. Uh, this will be the section of new paving, and that will uh, extend about a thousand feet along the roadway, including the new culvert, uh, upsized culvert at the culvert crossing, sized so that it's not overtopped by the floodwaters, and so thus making the crossing. Uh, safer for this area. The existing road uh, out here is, if you're familiar with that, is the um, narrow county road type section, has very little um, guardrail, lighting, things like that. It's a sharp 90 degree turn currently today and as you can see with the Crenshaw we lost your uh, screen oh okay sorry let me Mike this is Laura I am so sorry if I That's messed right. up yep, no worries we'll start over I just got to change this real quick okay how about now yes better? sir yes sir you are good to go Okay, this swapped things around on me a little bit, so I want to make sure I was showing the slide and not the information. So um, I can back up to the project limits. I'm not sure if I got through that or not, but this is the area that's showing the overtopping in uh, the, where the the floodwaters overtop roadway uh, today, and the limits of our paving improvements and water and sewer improvements are shown here. So it's localized, but uh, the crossing uh, is that's being improved will uh, eliminate the flooded overtopping section. Uh, back to the existing condition today, it is a sharp 90 degree bend. Uh, you can see from all the foliage and trees that it's a blind curve more or less and is overtopped pretty frequently in existing conditions. And so this project is aimed to uh, improve the roadway um, to take uh, some of the sharpness of the bend in the road out, make it a little smoother transition, as well as use concrete paving and uh, improve the crossing so that it's not overtopped in the large events. Um, and it overtops, you can see some of the dangerous uh, conditions here in this sharp turn as well. This is also one of the cities, because it overtops one of the city's uh, flood warning locations that the um, flood warning folks use to notify others of and barricade the road when it's overtopped. So what kind of work are we going to be doing? So currently you can see existing today, it's a, a fairly sharp bend in the road and uh, the project will, again, uh, make that curve a little smoother 
so it'll improve the sight distance and as well as uh, widening the road and making it a, a concrete curb and gutter street for our current standards. We'll also be um, improving the culvert crossing so that it's not overtopped in the 100 year event and um, as well as connecting to adjacent properties. We're also providing for maintenance um, so that as debris, uh, trees, things, et cetera, in, in the creek are washed downstream, that can be uh, cleaned and maintained by our field ops maintenance folks as well to keep the new culverts clear and, and functioning properly. So with that, and widening of the road as well, there's guardrail as well as uh, sidewalks along the, the roadway, planning for the full future section that will be anticipated. A little bit of details about the project. Again, this is to reduce the overtopping, uh, improve the overall road safety with the better curvature of the road, uh, improve the pavement uh, rather than the, the asphalt, it'll be concrete paving, um, as well as uh, you doing water and sewer improvements and accounting for that. Uh, we are completing design right now. Um, Baird Hampton Brown has been working feverishly to wrap up design. Uh, Daniel and his team are on the meeting here, then we appreciate them and all they've done. And we're wrapping up plans now. And the plan right now is to advertise this to bid actually next week. We'll be starting advertisement for bid and receiving those bids and going to council late summer, early fall, bef before the end of, of September is the plan with anticipating starting construction around the late fall, winter of 23, early 24, and then roughly a year for construction, put it sometime fall, winter of 25 for completed construction. The project is funded from the recent stormwater utility uh, bond. And right now our estimate is uh, roughly about $4 million. There is, of course, um, one challenge or, or many challenges, but one of the bigger challenges with this location is going to be uh, construction phasing and potentially the closing of the road because its it, existing conditions is such a narrow road and, and our proposed conditions will obviously vastly improve that. Um, there will be a, a period of time that the road will be closed. And so we've laid out a couple of detour routes and you can see uh, there are folks to the south uh, that will go back to North Beach Street to get uh, north and then um, the folks that come from 121 south on Haltom Road uh, will have a much shorter impact but but will not be able to get through so of course all existing residents in this area that are affected uh, will have temporary access to their property during construction, the uh, detour, exact details of the detour and the length of time that the detour is up, we will we will know more when we accept bids here in a month or so and have a contractor um, working on getting the contractor on board. Uh, they will prepare detailed traffic control plans and give us dates, et cetera, for closure. So there is anticipated traffic impacts, but again, it will be um, by being able to close the road, it, it greatly shortens the uh, amount of construction time that's needed uh, to construct it. So there is um, going to be some temporary impacts to traffic in the area. And that's all for this update. Uh, again, we are uh, planning to uh, start advertising for bid in the month of June and look to having contractor on board and, and go to council by September timeframe. 
and we'll have another update uh, once we get a contractor on board and we'll do another community meeting like similar to this with um, more details on the, the traffic impacts as well. In the meantime, if you have any questions, my email and Jane's email is, is shown on the screen. Please feel free to, to email us and let us know any questions that you may have. So at this time, I will open it up for any questions, if anyone has any. Or if there's anything I left out, perhaps also have on here uh, Justin Naylor, who saw this through project development. I don't know if I left anything out you may want to mention, or designer Daniel and his team are on. If they have anything to add, feel free to unmute and ask away. Okay. Well, that was short and sweet. Hearing no questions then, we can call this a meeting. And this update, again, is recorded. So um, it will be uh, posted on the project's uh, website, which you can get to off of the city's website, as well as, I believe it will be put on YouTube as well so others can get to it from there and can uh, send in questions later and or share it with their neighbors and friends if they want to watch an exciting video that's all i have thank you everyone thank you mike thank you mike and team guys thanks thank you all